Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about how you can avoid taxes by transferring your assets correctly, more specifically your retirement accounts, into your trust. Before I dive into that, I wanted to let you know how to reach out to me. I'm an estate planning and probate attorney and you can find me in my email, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawpllc.com or you can find me on my website, www.legionlawpllc.com. So with that, let's dive right in. Now, this is where things start getting a little bit tricky. I just mentioned in my previous video, the general rule of thumb is that if your asset has a beneficiary designation, make sure that beneficiary designation reflects the contents of the trust. If you don't have a beneficiary designation, you want to see how you can transfer that asset into the trust. That's the general rule of thumb. When it comes to retirement accounts, you need to go even further. So bear with me as we go even further <laughs> because this is very important. If you mess this up, your uh, retirement accounts could get forced to get distributed earlier than normal and you will have to pay taxes on those distributions. So to let you know, currently the laws in 2023 state that if you receive assets from a trust, or if a trust is to receive a retirement account, the trust must distribute those retirement account assets in five years, very quickly, boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. <laughs> and in those five years, you must give away all the assets, and when those assets are received by the person who's supposed to receive them, they pay the taxes that are owed on those, on those retirement assets. So as you know, there are some retirement accounts that you put the money in before your paycheck comes out, and that money accumulates in wealth, and then whenever you take it out, six, when you're 65 or older, you have to pay taxes on that. Other accounts, you pay money that is post taxes out of your paycheck, you put it into a retirement account, it grows, and when you take that money out, you don't have to pay taxes. So there's non-taxable accounts and there's taxable retirement accounts. The non-taxable retirement accounts, you technically can transfer into your trust. You can just make the trustee owner, you won't have any negative tax consequences that are just normal. So don't worry about it if you have a non-taxable trust account or a non-taxable retirement account. However, the big concern is for retire or <laughs> for taxable retirement accounts. Taxable retirement accounts, you want to go to individuals and not to the trust. So, what does that mean? So, if I have a taxable retirement account, I'm going to treat it differently than a non-taxable retirement account. Non-taxable retirement account, again, I can transfer it in my trust. I can give it to whomever I want, whatever. Most of the time, I try to transfer them into the trust. Taxable retirement account, I want that taxable retirement account's beneficiary designations to reflect the exact ones that are inside the trust. So if I say everything to my wife, if not my wife, then to my three kids in equal shares, then I want the first beneficiary on the taxable retirement account to be my wife, individually. Don't mention the trust. The second, uh, secondary beneficiaries would be my three kids in equal shares. The last, the tertiary beneficiary would be my trust. And the reason why is because if my wife can't get it and if my three kids can't get it, that means that they're all gone before me and there's no one left. The beneficiary designations are invalid, they are old, they are expired because those people don't exist anymore. Therefore, the only asset or the only uh, entity that can receive that retirement account now is going to be my trust. And my trust will say, all right, after my kids are gone and my, ch and my wife is gone, which is a sad situation to be in, this is what we do with the money. So that is all to say that absolutely make sure that your taxable retirement accounts go to your individuals and not to the trust because at the end of the day, they're going to receive those assets and the current law state that in some circumstances you have a 10 year rather than a five year period of required minimum distributions. Other times they say, hey, we look at actuarial tables or you calculate how much we think you're gonna live and then that's how many years you have for these minimum distributions. And by doing that, it, by delaying the time, by making the time greater, you give those assets more time to grow and to appreciate in value and to make more money rather than you have to pay taxes on them immediately. So that's the thought process on that because if you put your beneficiary, your primary beneficiary, your first one as your trust on your taxable retirement accounts, then that five year period is gonna come into effect and boom, you're gonna be paying a lot more in taxes than if you just gave it to your individuals where they have a 10 year period. Again, this is all for taxable retirement accounts. This has nothing to do with non-taxable. Non-taxable, you can put it in the trust, you can put it outside and do individuals, whatever you wanna do. There are no negative tax consequences on that front. So, 
That's a big important thing because the retirement accounts almost always are the second or the largest asset inside an estate. Oftentimes these are millions of dollars and if you do this wrong, you can pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to Uncle Sam for no good reason. No good reason whatsoever. So if you're concerned about that, if you wanna make sure that your taxes are paid correctly, and again, this is all to say, these are the tax laws now, let alone if they change in the future, um, then you'll want to make sure that you work with an attorney like myself. So if you wanna work with me, if you have questions, if you have concerns, commentary, feel free to reach out. You can email me directly, Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at legionlawpllc.com, or you can go to my website, go to our Contact Us page, and you can directly schedule a free over-the-phone consultation directly on my calendar at www.legionlawpllc.com. So with that, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.